Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Monotype Challenge. Today we're hopefully going to finish off the uh, fire type. We've won twice in a row, so we need one more or, you know, two more wins to finish this. So I'm going to hit look for a battle real quick. Uh, Camtasia has been working a little bit against me today. So I've actually recorded this like three times, I think. Four times, maybe. And every single time, it just doesn't work. And today, we're facing off against the starter team. So, Charizard. Charizard is handled by a lot of things. So, I'm going to bring in Charizard to handle his Charizard. Um, he's going to be bringing in probably the water types and the fire types. So, I'm going to bring in uh, Nine Tails because that's going to be awesome. Um, I'm going to bring in, well, yeah, I'm going to bring in Typhlosion. I'm going to bring in Arcanine. Arcanine's interesting because um, he, of course, has Lumios Moss. He's going to start off with Venusaur and Fur Alligator. So, actually, I'm going to Solar Beam the Fur Alligator and overheat the Venusaur. I don't know what he wants to do. He might see me Mega Evolving. I ain't going to Mega Evolve for him. Uh, I only Mega Evolve for my friends. So, the Solar Beam is going to one shot that for Alligator, and the Overheat is going to one shot the Venusaur. Wow. Uh, if anything, I did not see that coming. Um, I definitely saw the one shot on the for Alligator, but not on the Venusaur. So, now we have this. Uh, I'm actually going to Ancient Power the Charizard and um, Power Swap with the Blastoise. I uh, just want to make it really weak. And especially if it goes for its stab in the sun. Um, oh, so close. He goes for a hydro cannon, but misses. Uh, but we do get that uh, power swap off. He does take out our beautiful friend here, but um, jokes on him. I do have my Arcanine. I think that Blastoise might be Specs or Scarf rather. Um, I'm gonna get a extreme speed off on the Charizard. I hope that takes it out, and Solar Beam on the Blastoise. I hope that takes it out. Um, and if not, I think a Choice Scarf Eruption will be enough to take them both out next turn. Uh, he does go for Hydro Pump, but um, now our defense is activated. Um, we don't get the KO off on him, so I'm going to go for Extreme Speed Solar Beam again. That combo should be more than enough to take him out, and of course, the Hydro Pump's not going to take us out. And that's the first match down in record time, um, so that's actually... Wow, that's actually fire type done, but for the sake of how short this video is, we're going to get another battle in. This one, oh my goodness, excuse me, this one does not count for anything, this is just a for fun battle. He's got a lot of ice types, um, he's most likely not going to bring any of those in, um, however I am going to start off with the Charizard Ninetales lead, because that is our strongest lead by far. Um, what else am I worried about? I'm going to bring in Typhlosion, because that thing's going to hit hard. And I'm going to bring in Embor, because that thing is going to hit even harder. So he's going to start off with a double ice lead, which is not very good for him. I'm going to flamethrower the Aurorus, and I'm going to overheat the Glaceon. That is my best bet, I think. He might predict that. He's not going to predict that. It's not going to take him out, believe it or not, but the Glaceon is going to go down. It's probably going to go for like a Power Gem. It's going to go for a Blizzard, and that's going to crit us. Probably freeze both of us now. <laughs> that would be my luck. Um, if, if he brings in, I was going to say Ferrothorn, I meant to say uh, Talon. He doesn't bring in Talonflame. I'm going to Solar Beam the Lapras and Solar Beam the Lapras. Um, am I? No. I'm going to Solar Beam the Lapras and Power Swap the Aurorus. Um, I could probably take out the Aurorus. Oh, so close. I probably could have taken it out. We can go for Surf, which is going to kill his own Aurorus, not kill our Charizard, and not kill our Ninetales. Wow! But, I mean, the Solar Power, obviously, is going to take out our, our Charizard. But I'm going to bring in Typhlosion here, because I am Choice Scarf, and depending on who he brings in, I'm just Absol. This Eruption should take everything else out. Uh, I'm going to go for an Overheat, just in case it doesn't take out the Absol. But that is my best bet. Eruption, gone, and gone. So that's a triple win. <laughs> double win so far and it's only been four four and a half minutes um so let's go for another battle because it's such a long episode and again this doesn't count for anything so looks like he's got an interesting team uh aerodactyl is a very scary pokemon so i'm gonna start off with typhlosion nine tails um who don't i hit i don't hit that so i'm gonna bring in talonflame 
Talonflame will cover those two. Espeon, I'm not too worried about. Porygon Z, I'm kind of... I'm going to bring Embor for Porygon Z. I'm a Salt Vest. I think I should be able to take it a little bit better than I hope. Um, so he starts off with this. This thing is going to kill me. So I'm going to go for a straight up Eruption and Overheat. No. Eruption Safeguard. So in case he goes for the Dynamic Punches, we won't... Um, we won't get negatively impacted by that. Because I think I should... I should... I should. I know I'm saying a lot of S's. Um, he goes for Bullet Punch, interestingly enough. Uh, Eruption's going to almost take out the Machamp and do quite a lot of damage to the Aerodactyl. Um, unfortunately, our Eruption is kind of really bad right now, so I'm going to go for another Eruption. It's not going to KO anything, and I'm going to overheat the Aerodactyl. He Bullet Punches the Typhlosion. Yeah, that, that, or that Eruption wasn't going to do anything, but I didn't have a safe switch in, unfortunately. Um, but here's the good part. Embor Talonflame. That, my friends, is the good part. Um, Embor is probably going to want to go for a Rock Slide, and I'm going to Brave Bird the stupid, stupid Machamp. So Machamp goes down, I'm probably sh nah, I shouldn't have Brave Bird the Aerodactyl. He goes for a Rock Slide, it's going to take out our... Oh, it takes out Dang, that took it us out. It's unfortunate, but the Rock Slide will take out the Aerodactyl. So let's see who he brings in next. It's probably going to be like Ditto. Espeon and Porygon Z. I'm gonna go for an Earthquake. Um, that might be enough to take them both out. They're not very physically defensive, um, but then again, we're not the strongest thing in the side of the, the Mississippi. Yep, that that didn't help. Uh, good game, and since it's still only seven minutes, uh, I'm gonna get another battle in, just because we can. But remember, we already finished the Fire type, like. Quad th four times in a row, so <laughs> uh, it's an interesting time to battle, isn't it? <laughs> I at least have this episode ten minutes long, so unless this battle doesn't go through right here, because I've yeah okay never mind. Um, you don't like fire types. You don't like fire types. You love fire types. Um, Charizard, Nine Tails, uh, Embor. Um, Embor, and Typhlosion, right? No. No, nope. too late. <laughs> I didn't mean to click it. So, Kofagrigus and Espeon. Um, yeah, this isn't going to do too much to us. Flamethrower should most likely take out the Kofagrigus, and the Overheat should take out the Espeon. Hopefully. Hopefully. I don't know. I really don't know, but this will be the last battle. This is like what? I think that was like five battles. Four battles, five battles. That's insane. Five battles in less than ten minutes. <sighs> that never happens. Hopefully Camtasia doesn't screw this up. <laughs> wow, that is a fast Espeon. Uh, yeah, Kofagrigus. Goodbye. Overheat. Almost goodbye. Um, wow, that was a fast Espeon. I am quite shocked at that. Um, why was that so fast? Well, I'm going to protect here. With you, I'm gonna overheat the Espeon, so I can only survive one more turn with the uh, solar power. Um, it will actually. I should Mega Evolve. Should I? No, I'm not gonna Mega Evolve just yet. I'll Mega Evolve next turn. Um, I just want to get rid of this Espeon. Yes, the critical hit did not matter. I don't think um, he goes for Earthquake, taking out our Nine Tails. Whoa, not taking out our Nine Tails. Um, that was awesome. Sawsbuck, no. Okay, Rotom Heat, I'm going to Solar Beam your face, um, and I'm going to... I don't really have to do anything, I'm just going to overheat the Steelix, it's not going to KO, but... It'll do damage. Solar Beam should take out... Oh, why? Wow, even at negative 4, that overheat does quite... What? You didn't attack my Charizard! Oh, now you did, okay. That was weird. Alright, well, that's fine, because he has these two left, and I still have a Choice Scarf Talon, uh, Typhlosion. Um, so I'm actually just going to go for Eruption, and um, in case it doesn't KO the Rotom Wash, I'm going to go for a Hammer Arm upon the Rotom Wash. Oh! Steelix, dead. I love it! I love it! I love this Choice Scarf Eruption. Uh, I love it. I love it. Hammer Arm. Eruption should 
take it out. I mean, like, once you get, like, down in HP, it's a really bad move, but Choice Scarf means you pretty much move the first turn unless, you know, like, priority and stuff like that. Excuse me as I hiccup my butt off. It's 9.30. Jeez, I have to leave. Uh, can we, can we go? Start timer. <laughs> I need you to die, okay, so I can go. Thank you. Oh, we forfeited. Alright. I don't know how many battles that was, but it was a lot. <laughs> I think it was five. Um, yeah. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you at the next video. <laughs> Peace.